Hi everyone, today I'm going to be doing a special love reading on Dipika Padukone and Ranveer Singh. They recently just got married and this was a requested video, so we're going to be looking at the future for both of them. Congratulations to them for getting married. So let's see what messages we have for both of them in regards to love. got the wild card we've also got the four of swords as well this card really wants to come out <laughs> so we're going to just take it out as well we've got the three of wands messages that we have from embracing and the part one Ten of Pentacles, we have the Seven of Pentacles as well. We've got the High Priestess. We've got a lot of Earth energy. Now I know from um, just looking at the star signs, I know that Lipika has um, Earth energy in her sign. I forgot completely what Runeveer sings star sign is but i do know that she has a lot of earth energy so earth energy is virgo taurus capricorn she's of course a capricorn if i'm not mistaken so let's begin okay first of all we have the wild card this is a beautiful completion now of course we know that they've recently got married which is a beautiful and very very happy time for them this is their completion in many senses this is you know what both of them have wanted it's what they've done and it's a very happy time for them that's pretty much what I'm seeing. I do see right now though, um, there is this time of rest. Now this could just be because they've just recently got married and they want to take a bit of rest and a bit of time for themselves, but I do see a lot of resting, retrieving, retreating, um, and taking time for themselves. I also see here um, some very fiery energy. So um, you've got this energy which is sometimes about waiting as well. I feel like they may have been waiting to do something or maybe waiting to do this, but um, you've got this waiting energy. This is nothing bad at all. And even for the future, um, you know, this is just, this is just, I, I don't know, this is a card that is sort of a little bit about waiting, but it's, it's just, I feel like this is more about them now because um, I do feel like they perhaps waited to just put this out into the public. And before, I feel like they may have just been holding back on it and not really talking about it, um, which, you know, I mean, they, they did. But also, they've just been waiting to sort of get this all out there so that it's just out there and they could just focus on their own life now. We also have here the Ten of Pentacles. So this is a beautiful card. This is abundance in all areas. This is work life, family life. This is their professional and personal life. This is their... This is abundance in all areas of life. This is just financial, mental, physical, it's it's everything. It's stability in all forms of life and for the future especially to get this card is absolutely incredible. So these are kind of their present cards. These are their future cards. So for the future, I can see that they're, they're just going to have a very, very happy marital home. And it's going to be really, really nice for them um, in all sense. You know, as I mentioned, mentally, you know, they're both going to be able to stay, you know, make each other stable um, physically as well and also um, financially. And yeah, their family life, it's, it's going to be um, a very beautiful thing for them. And I think both of them have wanted this and they've, they've gone for it. You also have here the Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles is about reflecting. So every now and again, they will begin to sort of reflect on their life and kind of see, you know, see where they've gotten and that kind of thing. Sometimes this can be a bit of a, like a negative reflection as well, you know. Um, but I think in every relationship, you will have ups and downs. So this, this, the most down that I can see here is them just reflecting on the relationship, you know, um, if they do have arguments and stuff, they will take time to reflect, but it's not going to be anything catastrophic that I can personally see here. I do think for a very long time, they are going to be very stable in their marriage. You have the High Priestess, and the High Priestess is about both of them being very in tune with each other, being very intuitive. Um, the High Priestess is sometimes about secrets as well, um, but I don't think that these are hidden secrets. If we had the Moon card, I would be very worried for sure, but right now, with this particular high priestess this is also earth energy as well it's about just this very nurturing kind caring energy and everything is very open so the secrets everything that they have perhaps shared in the past it's, it's very much open between the both of them 
and it will be con it will continue to be that particular way. Right. Let's see what other messages we have for both of them. Oh. So the first card, another card that just came out on the side, is the Three of Pentacles. Now this particular card is very interesting because this is not one of financial gain. The Three of Pentacles is about community service or charity or giving back, so I feel like they will be doing some kind of work um, in regards to that into the future. Oh, the, the three cards actually came out. There we go. You've got the Hanged Man. You've got the star card. I'm trying not to mess up my spread right now. Sorry, the hangman is actually upside down. Okay, here we go. I'm just gonna try and do my best. <laughs> you've got the star card and you've got also here the two of pentacles. We'll talk about this in a second. So, um, as I mentioned, they are gonna, throughout their marriage, they are gonna be doing some kind of reflecting, especially when things may not be going as, as you know, well, every relationship have, has its ups and downs, so this card is really just reiterating that yes, of course, they are going to have their ups and downs, but they are going to take a time to they are going to take time to reflect on on their marriage as well. So the hangman is all about that. It's it's very much very spiritual. So I do feel like they do believe in God. They be believe in their divine um, relationship. You know, they believe in that, and so they will be spiritually. Uh, led back together if there are any rifts or anything like that in their relationship again with the seven of pentacles this reflection the hangman reflection as well um, the ups and downs with the two of pentacles it can be rocky at times but they will manage to patch things up um, you do have the star card which is this kind of divine intervention it's supposed to happen um, and you know it only brings them together stronger and stronger emotionally as well they can have some rough times emotionally because you see this water here but overall they are going to be very very much balanced and they're able to they're going to be able to juggle a family life as well as their personal and professional lives together and this is something that I don't think they rushed into with marriage I think they knew exactly what they were going to get themselves into especially with this star card as well it is this wish that they have had it's something that they wanted to work towards and they've known both of them have known how difficult it may be so um, these periods of reflection are extremely healthy ten of pentacles indicates their future in which I think is going to be great for both of them um, there are going to be some rough patches, as I did mention, but these are going to be, they're divine. They're supposed to happen, and they're going to eventually just bring them even closer together. So overall, this is a really great reading. Um, so yeah, if you like this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to my channel for more celebrity tarot readings. And I will see you all very, so very soon. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, leave a comment down below if you'd like to, and I'll see you all very, very soon. Bye!